That, that question is actually mentioned in a hadith, in a sahih hadith from, from what I recall, where basically Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, you know, some people they ask so much, they ask a question. Well, where did this come from? Okay, where did this come from? Okay, where did this come from? It came from Allah, where did Allah come from? Right? He says basically this is, this is the work of, this is like deception. This is essentially deception. So there's a balance, right? Allah says in the Quran, He tells us to ask questions. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. But there's a limit, right? I could say, for example, where are you from, bro? Yeah, where are you from? Okay, where in India? Where? No, no, I want to know. Tell me. Locked up. Where in Locked up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for most people, for most people, India would have been good enough. <laughs> for most people, India would have probably been good enough, right? Like, so there's a balance. In Islam, there's always a balance. When it comes to praying, when it comes to fasting, when it comes to getting married, doing all these things, there's always a balance. You can't go overboard, right? We're a religion of moderation and a balance. So you can ask questions, and in fact, you should ask questions if you don't know, but don't go overboard. Like, I don't know, want to know your street address and like how often you go to the, you know, the uh, biryani stand around the corner and stuff like that.